to go on the subway for the work. I mean, I don't think I have what it takes to be president, oh. but I'll take it. That's very nice. You're my president. Cute. That <laughs> one is cute. There's so many cute spots. Hello. Welcome to the vlog. At least the first time we're actually talking on the vlog. Hello. Hopefully we don't run into anybody here. We are in New York. Brooklyn. Yeah. Well, right now, where are we? We're on Hudson Street. We're in West Village. We took a red eye here last night, so we got about four hours of sleep on the plane yep. and dropped our bags off where we're staying in Brooklyn and took the subway over to West Village to Bouvet. Had the most amazing breakfast. It was awesome. We just put chocolate croissant in my purse wow. for later. We're gonna have, we're gonna eat it in Central Park but we decided we'd just walk around, see where the wind takes us. Right now we're on Hudson Street and it's so beautiful. The weather is just perfect. I'm, I'm obsessed with New York. Yeah. Uh -uh. We've already had, I've had two waffles. What did you have for breakfast again? Just the best eggs and toast and prosciutto of my life of her life mine as well and then we got yeah the chocolate croissant in her purse and i think next we're gonna get a bagel but today is about carbs beautiful carbs and just walking around and just walking seeing around. where the wind takes us yes <laughs> beautiful beautiful hotel room in Brooklyn this view that I'm looking at right now is so crazy we're staying at the Ace Hotel in Brooklyn and we're just already so obsessed we had a friend that recommended we stay here and great recommendation shout out to Aaron but I don't know if you can see this you can see the Statue of Liberty just perfect it's so pretty it's right there, I think that's what I'm pointing to. Or no, maybe over here. Jamie and I had a kind of a funny afternoon. It was so good, but we ended up when we were in West Village. We were getting a little sleepy. The hotel said that we could check in a little bit early. So we got on the subway to come back to the hotel and we didn't have service in the subway. And we got off after Central Park. We went in the wrong direction. So I was like falling asleep on Jamie as well. So we were so tired. We ended up just getting a taxi back to the hotel and it ended up being 
so sweet because it was so beautiful and we saw the water we got to see kind of I was like we got to see Williamsburg and bridge into Queens I really am realizing I don't know much about New York so it was actually a nice little tour that we got and then we came back to the hotel and took the best nap of my life we were so tired we needed a nap and now getting ready for tonight we're gonna go explore Dumbo which is supposedly a really cool place in Brooklyn and we're just gonna walk around this whole trip Jamie and I are just kind of walking around letting inspiration lead us Jamie and I definitely love to do that like well we have some lists of recommendations from friends but we don't want to be too scheduled we want this to be fun and chill and easy so Jamie's downstairs getting a burger because he was so hungry while I finish getting ready oh also I stopped by Doen. I don't think I took any clips inside Doen is one of my favorite stores ever and I ended up splurging so I'm so excited about that I don't know if I'm gonna wear the outfit from there tonight or not but it really was so special so today has just been amazing I'm so excited to see what happens tonight I just did my makeup too my hair I showered but I'm just gonna keep it kind of loose like this and then just like a very fall lip and very I don't know basic makeup but let's get this fit on okay I can't tell if I'm obsessed with this outfit or not but I think I'm into it I think that this is what we're gonna go with the dress kind of hits a funky spot but I kind of love it I'm obsessed with this sheer sparkly brown top the top is from Silver Lake flea market this dress was from Frankie Bikini's boots are my prized possession. I'll be buried in these. These are my vintage fry banana boots. I don't know if they're technically banana, but they're the campus boots. And bandana is my friend Bethany's that she let me borrow. I'm thinking for the jacket. Okay, I could either do a blazer moment, which is kind of fun because it also has stripes and a different pattern, or this leather jacket, which is just bonkers and honestly looks really good with this leather, even though they're different because of the bottoms. I'll have to look in the mirror, but one of these, I don't know, because what bag am I going to do then? This is my dilemma because I didn't bring a brown bag. I did bring a red bag. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do for sure. You know what? We're in New York and I think we have to do the leather jacket. Yes, and then bag. Bag is also my friend Bethany's. This is tonight's fit. I like it, kind of funky, but I feel like that works here. Ignore the messy room. Let's go find Jamie. Walking to Dumbo. I think it's really important that we all see Tay's fit right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. this place called Balthazar and Jamie just went to the bathroom but I came back from the bathroom and Jay set down a, a bowl of a latte look at this thing I don't think you can tell just how big this is that is a huge latte question is little man 
or big cappuccino. The world may never know. This does have two cups of cappuccino in it though, and you order it as a bowl. The history of this place is that my grandma would take me and my sister here whenever we would go to New York, and it's like a traditional French patisserie, and so it's just, I don't know, a lot of sentimental value. And it's really, really vibey on the inside. Kind of feel like this place fits the New York that I've always known, but I'm, I know so little about New York, so. But it's really fun being able to take you here. It is day two. We're in Brooklyn and this is cute. Like we're just walking by where our hotel is. We looked up where a French restaurant was, just like two blocks from us. And that's where we're going now because Jamie and I just were just obsessed with French food. And then tonight we're going to a Broadway show. We're just kind of going with the flow like we have been this whole trip and it's been so fun. We have a Broadway show tonight, which did you mention that? Yeah. Oh, you did. And then we have a matinee tomorrow. So really looking to experience the show life here. Excited to try this French food. Here's a little fit check for today. My loafers are old Steve Madden with some little sheer socks and then a thrifted or actually Silver Lake Flea skirt, a little sweater. And then this top, my friend Bethany thrifted, but who remembers their moms having cabby parties? That's what the shirt is, it's a cabby shirt. I don't know, my mom used to do this with her girlfriends, have little cabby fall shows. I don't know, we should bring them back, but it's today's fit. your first non-alcoholic beer? First non-alcoholic beer made me genuinely question if I lost my sobriety. <laughs> I feel like I remember beer tasting. Whenever I'm in a place like this, Tay is able to just, she has such an eye for potential, which is why she's with me, but. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I have to slow down and just look really slow <laughs> in order to not get super overwhelmed. There is a lot going on in here. Look at the little chairs. You'd fit perfect in that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you so imagine Tay right there? <laughs> oh, 
That's crazy. I think a shirt under it would be much better. But I love it. Wait, come closer. This is so nice. But the thing is, when I go and it'd be Christmas, itchy. It's like wool. Do any of my guys feel this way, or anyone, anyone I'm listening to this, where you've really been working out, and when you go home for Christmas, you kind of want people to see, like, mm, what's up, Uncle? What's up, Uncle? You look huge. But then, if I wear a sweater. They might just think, like, they don't know. You don't know what's underneath. You could just wear a tight, long sleeve. True, let's see if this works. <laughs> it's filming. <laughs> see, it looks so... Oh, and that shirt with it. Is that like a... It almost looks like a butter yellow in the camera. But <laughs> it is like butter yellow. This is <laughs> sick, this whole outfit. See, but the thing that... The thing that's kind of wild is that it's more like an ivory in person, but the neckline is so nice. And then hold on. Okay, get your chain out. This is sick. Um. Yes, sir. The thing is that I think this is actually tight enough to where I think all my uncles would run away. For sure. The moment they saw me. They're gonna fear you. They're gonna be really scared. But the thing is, how do you like the pants? Oh, the pants are my favorite part. Pants are so good. Are if I had to choose between one thing, I would for sure choose the pants. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna knit the sweater for you, so. Oh, you're gonna knit the sweater. Yeah. Well then, I think we just get the pants. Yeah. Because I can find a shirt way cheaper than this. The pants. You'll wear those all the time. Jamie and I are about to go to Wicked. Our room is such a mess right now, but that's okay. That's all right. It's all right. We actually just got some really good news too that I'm gonna keep private for right now. We got some really good news. So we are celebrating tonight. We are. And we'll do a little outfit reveal downstairs when we get on the subway. You look so handsome. You look so beautiful, girl. I love this dress. I forgot the jacket <clears throat> that I was going to wear. So I'm wearing like black with brown, but I think it'll still be fine. No, it flows perfectly, though. I'm so excited. I am, too. So we're going to take the subway over to Manhattan, and then we are going to have a drink beforehand. Or I'm going to have a drink. You're going to have a, a coffee. A, a coffee, probably. And then we see Wicked. And we're going to this restaurant after called Joe Allen. I don't even know if you know this. Yeah, 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 you told me. Yeah, but yeah. one of my clients told me that that's where all the Broadway actors go after. So it's about to go. It's going to be so fun. Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's our last full day here. It's crazy. It's been so fun. Last night we went to Wicked, and it was honestly such a funny story because it's funny now. In the moment it was so sad. But do you want to tell it? I do. I would love to tell this. So, I did not prepare well enough, and what happens is we pull up, we're having a really good time. Just everything's good and going very smooth. Up until the point where we get in front of... Well, okay, we took the subway, so you can't tell where you are really underneath. Like, you can see the cross streets sometimes, but like, you're not understanding fully where you are. But also, I just thought Jamie had it, so I was not paying attention to where we were on a map. I was like, following him. Yes. Even when we got out of the subway, she's like, this doesn't look like Broadway. And I'm like, oh, it doesn't look like Broadway. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking, I don't think any of the streets we're walking on are Broadway right now. So, but I kind of push it. I know, we're not even close to Broadway. Like, we are in Midtown. We pull up to the Orpheum Theater, and they had 
signs for the big gay jamboni. And I thought that was a little bit weird. And I'm like, hey, no, this is the Orpheum. And she's like, are you sure this is where the show is? And I'm like, this is where you told me the show is, right? And the Orpheum, yeah. the Orpheum is a venue in LA that I went to like a week and a half ago for a concert. <laughs> so that has to be where you got that. Maybe that must have been where it was. So bottom line, morale dipped real low for about what? Because it was like, it was 6.55, the show starts at 7, Yeah. and we were 35 minutes away from where Wicked was, and I thought that like you couldn't get in if you didn't, and our seats were so good, mm -hmm. we paid like a good chunk of money for them, so I was just like, I was so mad. Yeah, yeah, rightfully so, rightfully so. But we, we got in an Uber. They did let us in, and the show started a little bit late, so I only think we missed like 15 minutes. Yeah. Of the two and hours it was and 45. So good. It but was incredible. But that was how it all started. That was it, how it started. But Wicked was absolutely incredible. I didn't know even what the story was really about, honestly. I don't know how. No, neither did I. Neither did I. It was so good. So, so good. I just really enjoyed seeing a show. And today, oh, we ended up sleeping in so late. I mean, it's like, it's noon, or it's 1 p.m. So we slept very late, and now we're getting bagels. And we're actually gonna go see one more show because I've heard it's just such a good show. It's called Sunset Boulevard with Cole something. It starts with us. Cole something. Something. But I'm so excited for us to see that. I think it's gonna be good. I don't know what the premise of that story is either. I just have heard it's amazing. So, so that's where we're at. That's where we're at today. Afterwards, Jamie and I realized we haven't even had Thai food, which is our favorite food. So maybe tonight we'll get some Thai. We're just gonna chill, play it by ear. Probably walk around Central Park a little bit more since we'll be over there. But yeah. And then across. Always carrying my bag, like the king he is. Super little armholes, but alas. <laughs> The pants are slaying though. I just got these. Oh yeah, you guys saw that. We found this little Harry Potter corner at a jazz bar with a $40 cover charge. I'm sure they're great, whoever's playing, but we decided not to do it. So we're just soaking up the Harry Potter vibes. I'd when Tay Tay gets near the end of a trip, you can always tell because she just slowly, it, we peak and then she just gets a little sleepy and that's okay. It's just a lot of energy here, like a lot of energy. And yeah. I sound very woo-woo, very LA, but like so many people, so many things going on. I always want to make sure I'm doing as much as possible on a trip like this and soaking in every bit. So then there's not enough time to chill and relax. And I'm, I'm a tired girly. I like to chill. The way we described it in the beginning is LA feels like multiple big waves hitting you over and over again. New York is just one tsunami of energy, mm -hmm. the most dense. There's lulls in LA. Yeah. Like you can feel like you're really not in a city too. Mm -hmm. But New York, you never don't feel like you're 
not in a city. At least our experience the past few days, it's our only moment is when we get back to the hotel to actually breathe. Even then, yeah. even then, like you still feel the energy of the city around you. Yeah, absolutely. Good morning. It is our very last morning in New York. I thought I would just do my makeup on camera since I haven't done that this whole trip and in a very long time. Today we are going to start finish packing and then we are going to go back to the breakfast spot that we went on the very first day. It feels like a very good beginning and a very good end to one of the best trips ever and this spot called Bouvet if you're in New York and you just want the most idyllic sweet breakfast spot with the best food go there because I think out of all the places that we went this area of New York is just my favorite like I'm starting to see why my all the Fancy people have houses over there with brownstones because it's such a cute area. But yeah, we'll start at Bouvet. I've been using this beautiful skin foundation, Charlotte Tilbury. I'm in shade six neutral. I love when people share what foundation color they are because a lot of times I can kind of get a better idea of what I would be based off what people say, but I love this foundation. I'm someone that doesn't normally splurge on a foundation. Like I'll go the drugstore route, just get something basic, but this really has changed my mind because it makes your skin look so good. Another product I've just been loving is this Makeup by Mario contour stick. The shade is light medium. It's not too harsh at all. And it's just so creamy. It really blends out so nice. In my opinion, this trip has been the perfect length trip. We spent, what was it, Jamie? Are you, uh, we spent four nights? Yeah, we did. Yep. So the first day was that we that red eye and we had that full day and we really utilized it all we did was take a really good nap and then three full days and then today we have just this morning and then we go back this afternoon so then we still get back to LA and have it'll be like 8 30 p.m. which will feel really late for us and then we'll just knock out and can get back to it tomorrow and honestly, I think if we would have left yesterday, I wouldn't have felt like we got quite enough time here. But leaving today, I'm, I'm ready to go back. I miss my dogs. I miss our normal like little things about our life. And I just feel like we got exactly what we needed from this trip. Rare beauty in worth. Didn't understand the hype around this stuff until I got it before this trip. Now I get it. For lip liner, I'm using two. I'm gonna use Cork by MAC and Hot Gloss by Charlotte Tilbury. This is gonna give a really fall vibes lip. I mean, Cork is like a brown. So if you're not into that, this might not be for you, but I love a, a brown lip. And then just a clear NARS gloss. We are running late, so I'm trying to get this going. I'm not gonna do any mascara today. Just gonna curl my eyelashes. I really went out of order with this because I've saved my brows for last. But I might look a little different since I filmed here last because my eyebrows, I've just let them go crazy. Let them go natural. And said, so why am I why am I waxing these things? Let's just be crazy. So I've let them go a little nuts. I've been liking it, so all I do is a clear brow gel. And this one is from 
Perfect Fluff. They are an LA based company and they're amazing. It's like the, it's like a brow soap, but I've always had that brow soaps leave that white cast and this does not. So it's perfect for my other fluffy brow girls. Okay, I lied. Maybe just touch mascara. There we have it. Finished makeup look. Now we're gonna finish packing up real quick. Get out of here. Cause I know Jane was waiting. Wanted to do a little fit check. Last fit check of the trip before we go into Bouvet. I'm wearing my vintage Steve Madden boots. My friend Courtney actually put me onto these and they're the best. They don't make them like this anymore where they kind of go tighter on your calf. So I got these on eBay. I think you just search vintage Steve Madden. I'll put it in the caption because there is something specific you should search. But I got them for like $65. And then skirt, don't know where it's from, also from a friend. If you wanna have sustainable fashion, share with your friends because that's the number one thing. Like, I didn't have to buy a lot for this trip because me and my girlfriend share. Just a Brandy Melville tee, little scarf, and the jacket I've been wearing everywhere. Plus my little sunglasses. <laughs> having like a hot mocha outside. This is what I wanted coming from LA, to be cozy. Okay, the sweetest thing just happened at Bouvet. I wanted to grab one of their menus because I think it'd be really sweet to frame it at our house because it's just been our favorite place. And I was thinking about just taking one and then felt bad. So I asked and they were like, no. And they were like, no, and I was like, Dang, maybe I shouldn't have asked. And he came back and he was like, since you asked, we found an older one that you could have. And we threw in all this extra stuff, this postcard and those matchboxes and this. Like, it's just, it feels like Christmas. Like, that was so sweet. Made my day, honestly, like, so special. So for sure gonna, I have this cute idea to do this fabric mat frame and maybe put it in our kitchen because how cute. Our very last order of business here is getting a photo booth picture at the hotel that we stayed at. So that'll be our last bit in New York. Perfect ending. Perfect ending. We loved it here. Mm -hmm. Hope that you guys enjoyed being with us this trip. Yes. Thank you for watching.